All right, guys, back. Uh, I think at 4.30 a.m. it turns to daytime, and it just ended right there. I just walked past some water, and it was, you know, just regular blue water. It wasn't red water, so that sucks. So I suppose that's it for that. But there are a lot of things that dropped over here, like the banner for the Drippler, I think that is right there, and banner for, uh, you know, Raincoat Zombie banner. There's a lot of stuff here. I guess we could see, uh, oh, yeah, I guess we could put the chef's uniform back on. Then I'll take it a few, uh, there you go few resource slots right there. Day bloom. Ah, you know what? I'll keep that. Blink root. Yeah, I'll get rid of that garbage. And what else do we have around here? Ah, more blink root and blink root seeds. Yeah, I'll get rid of that. I don't care. There's another zombie banner right there. Yeah, trash. Anything else around here that's actually good? Water leaf seeds. Eh. Blood zombie banner. I guess I'll keep that for right now. Uh, one meteorite. Precise shackle. Eh. I'll put that up. I don't think I'm going to use it, honestly. Another zombie arm right there, though. Oh, a vulture. Get him. Got him. Nice. And how's that uh, zombie arm doing, though? Oh, whoops. There you go. That's just a regular one. Okay. Yeah, you know what? I'll probably sell it. Water leaf, get rid of that garbage. What about over here? We got a raincoat, like, actual uh, helmet right there. Hat. Yeah, rain hat. Oh, it gives you one defense. <laughs> yeah, I'm not wearing that. I thought it was a... Uh, well, I guess I could use it as a uh, a vanity sort of thing, but uh, wedding dress. Yeah, we already have a few wedding dresses. <laughs> this kind of crazy to say we got a wedding veil. Yeah, I've already worn these before. Yeah, there you go. And that was just a... A ring, an actual raincoat right there, so. I'll see if I actually missed anything by those guys uh, dropping a bunch of stuff during that, and I think that might be another day bloom. Uh, nope, yellow marigold right there, okay. Either way, let's just teleport back home with a magic mirror, ba-boom, we're back home. Chef has arrived back home, and there's still even uh, loot above our house, so there you go, grab that. Got a lens right there, and I'm sure I've got tons of acting lenses, too, from uh, another heckin' goldfish right there, just casually walking through your house right there, don't mind that there, sheesh. Let's see how much uh, stuff we got. Speaking of gold, three gold, 93, almost four gold right there, you guys. Not bad. I'd say that was a pretty good success right there. Not bad at all. Let's see if we can actually uh, quick stack some stuff. Oh, man, a lot of stuff got quick stacked right there. Nice. Meteor head banner. Yeah, of course, that didn't quick stack because that was, you know, another banner, another banner, another banner right there. I can sell those. I think I, I, think I might have sold them before. Let's see if we can sell it to uh, Lauren over here. Let's see. Yeah, I can sell them. Yeah, you know what? I'll take it. I don't care. Engineering helmet. Mechanical lens. Uh, is there anything else over here? I think it's all the same, honestly. So let's just sell all these banners over here because our house is actually full. So I might as well get something out of those, right? I do have a mini shark. You know what? I keep that. But I'm not going to keep it in the hot bar because this thing's free to use with my current armor. And speaking of such, I want to switch it out because we're at like, what, 27 armor earlier on with the crimson with increased uh, regeneration. Do I want? I think I'm going to keep the meteor right now at least. Because it gives us more magic damage, which is really, really, like... Hold on, let's see. 26, if I take this off, what's it going to be? 24. Take it off again. 23. Take it off again. 21. 7%, 7%, 7%. I don't know if that stacks up to 21%. And then a set bonus of, uh, cost of no mana right there, nice. So it goes to, like, 19 up to 26 right there. That's amazing. I think, I think it's worth it. Uh, the... Murderous Mirasa. The deadly magic missile, though. How much damage does that do? It did, I think, 37 right there. And then, uh, does 31 right there with deadly plus 11% magic damage. So I guess it does another 21% or something right there. Put all this on up to 37. Yep. Amazing. Holy heck, you guys. Things are going really well right now in the, both the armor and the weapons department right now, you guys. Amazing stuff. And like I said, I guess I'll put up the, uh... Let's go up to our armor chest. That would be this, the dresser. Oh no, that's for vanity. Which one? Do, do I want to make one of these actually uh, armor weapons? Maybe I'll just make that one weapons because I don't think we actually have any armor there. I guess I'll put armor over here. So this would be this. I'll just rename this one weapons. There you go, weapons. Save. And let's rename this one to armor. By the way, I think I got a comment from someone saying, oh, I probably should have done this while I was in the desert. But I could use dyes to dye chests different colors. So instead of using like different chests, like a water chest or like a gold chest or like that, uh, mixed in with those regular chests to kind of, you know, differentiate them and stuff like that. Maybe I'll just go over to the dye trader, buy some dyes from him if, if he has some. Either the dye trader or the painter, I forget. But I guess we'll go to both of them, see if we can actually buy anything that, you know, might dye slash paint a chest, you know, a different color. Uh, convenient that they're, like, both right next to each other. But, uh, let's go over here. We're, we're basically at the desert right now. See if we can actually buy anything from either of them. Oh, a little bit of money right there. Nice. Uh, brown dye, silver dye, shadow dye, negative dye, and then there's the desert pylon. I guess we can buy some brown and silver, I suppose? Let's buy, like, a few of those. There you go. So we're gonna have three in total right there. 
Let's go to the painter. I think he just has like walls and stuff. Yeah. Oh yeah, here we go. Violet paint. Let's get some red paint. Let's get some orange. Yeah, let's get a little bit of everything. Lime. Regular green. Yeah, I probably shouldn't have got the like, Yeah, I'll sell the lime back to him. There you go. I think if you're in the same screen right now. Yep. If you're in the same like if I buy the lime paint right now, I could sell it for the same price, which I just did right there. 22 copper, sell for 22 copper. So as long as I, you know, understand my mistake immediately, then I don't lose any money right there, which is good. Sky blue, what was that, green? Let's just get regular blue, purple, and that should be the whole rainbow, right? Yep, and then we can do black and white, gray. I think we already have gray here. I guess I could do gray, sure. Then brown, and that should cover everything, right? Secrets of the Sands. First encounter with a slime. I guess I get that. It seems like a small, like, square painting, so I guess I get that. Sparkle stone wallpaper. I don't think we have anyone that, like, particularly likes the snow biome, do we? Unless I go over to the, uh, to the bestiary and see. Surface, surface, hollow, underground, ocean, jungle, desert, desert there I know. Jungle, surface, underground. Oh, uh, the mechanic does. Lauren, the mechanic, likes the snow biome. Huh. Clothier, underground, surface, dungeon. Yeah, we need to get more NPCs. I don't know what we're missing to get another NPC. I'm like, clearly we have enough space. I'm like, we have other requirements we probably need to do in the first place, but let's see if we can actually dye a chest, like, red. Now, what would I want to be red? Structures, blocks. Maybe weapons would be red? Or do I want to make this like a rainbow down here? Yeah, let, let's not do that. Let's, let's actually color code it. So weapons, that, that makes sense to it. Red. Can I do that? No. So it might be dyes. So silver dye. Let's do, let's do that here. How would I dye something? Oh, let's talk to Kyle. It's a material after all. So let's go to crafting. Let's go to paint. So I can make just different paints by getting two uh, oranges to get a deep orange. Okay. I need to see- Oh, I need a paintbrush. I bet I need a paintbrush. Hold on, I'm stupid. <laughs> Let me go back over to, uh... What was his name? Marco? Let me go back over to Marco. I bet he sells a paintbrush. I'm, I'm stupid. I'm probably getting comments. Like, what am I going to do with just a bucket of paint? Just, like, throw the whole bucket on a heckin' chest and call it a day, I guess? <laughs> Let's go see if he sells a paintbrush. And if he does, then hey, that's that's probably the answer. That's probably how we uh we paint those chests different colors. See, I'm I'm learning here on my own just because I don't. Oh, whoops, that's the wrong one. Just because uh yeah, look at that. He's holding a bucket of paint and he's got a paintbrush. Surely the yep, boom. Used to paint with color. <laughs> I'm stupid. Let's get a uh paint roller. Oh yeah, it's for walls. Paint scraper to remove paint. You know what? I'll, I'll get that one too. Just so I get if I don't like a certain color chest, I guess I'll uh you know use the scraper to. Make it go back to normal tan or whatever that is right there. So, paintbrush. Use a paint color blocks. Now, how do I do this? Ooh. Okay. So, how does this work? I, I see I've already lost some paint. I guess the next thing I... Ah, oh man, I need to get a lot more paint, don't I? Like, if I want to get... Like, look at that. That's, that's, that looks stupid right there. Like, if I want to get a... Yeah, one paint bucket does like basically one square, and these these chests are like four squares. So yeah, you can see it's, it looks like the heckin' Windows logo or something right there. I need to get way more paint buckets, you guys. But okay, that's good to know that you know the dyes and stuff. That's not it. But the I guess I'll put it up over here. Nah, where would I even put that? Probably in like the clothes or something like that. Like I could probably dye like wedding gown to be like a different color. I guess if I wanted to, you know. I'm going to need, like, a lot of heckin' buckets of paint, so if I want to get, like, one chest, I need to have at least four red buckets. If I want to get, like, a, a green chest, I need at least four green buckets. And when we actually paint the stuff, let's make sure the only paint that I want to use is in my inventory, just to make sure, you know, we don't accidentally have a mix-up of paint or anything like that, so. Let's go back, let's go buy some more paints, and, uh, let's go color code our chests, shall we? And yeah, I guess, you know what, if anything, I'll just buy four of each color, so four red. Boom, put that right there. Four orange. What would I use that for? I don't know, but four uh, yellow. Four regular green. Four regular blue. Four uh, purple. And I think that should be it, right? Yep, that should be it, at least for right now. So we should be able to color code our chest right now. Let's go back. And then we could use the paint scraper, I think, on this, right? Okay, yep, there you go. So we got the paint back, so that's good. That's what that's for, and that's good that I know that. Maybe I'll make a uh, chest over here specifically for paint. So maybe I'll just put, uh, 
You know, I'm not going to use orange and all these other I'm just going to use red right now. I just want to make sure I only use red right now. So let's get the paintbrush. Let's see, which one's which? Weapons. Yes, let's go to that red. Boom, 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 boom. Oh, I should probably get a deep red, honestly. Because you can barely tell that that's even red. I guess if all the other ones are like green and orange and stuff, you can actually tell that that's red, I suppose. So if I go to this chest and say I want like deep blues and go to my inventory and... Oh, I... Wait, where do I do that though, Kyle? Where's that at? The dye vat. I need a dye vat to turn that into deep blue. Ooh, okay. So you can't just do it in your inventory. You need the dye vat. And what do I make blue? Mmm, I don't know, honestly. Armor, maybe? We get a weapons red and armor blue. That makes sense, I'd say. Let's do that, then. Yeah, see, look at that. See, now now the blue chest and the red chest. The red, nah, I guess maybe the heart right there kind of makes it where well, you can't really see it too well. But the blue chest right there, easy to see. Red chest next to it, a lot easier to notice now. Now, what about plant? A plant, that's got to be green. That's got to be green. So there you go. Let's get the uh, paintbrush. And there you go. Look at this. Red, green, and blue chest right there, you guys. Oh, yeah, if anything, maybe I do need uh, some sort of light there. This is really dark in the middle there. You know, relatively dark. What else could I use? Because we got, like, yellow. We got purple. Purple for potions. I like that. That makes sense. So let's get the paintbrush back. And there you go. Purple potions. What else? Random loot. Animals. What, what color? We have yellow and orange right now. Animals. Maybe... See, structures, I, I, if I have structures here and then more structures, those should be the same color. So if I make that orange, I'm going to make that orange as well. Blocks. I kind of want to at least have some default ones, you know? And then, of course, the ones that don't have anything, those are going to be default too. I guess right now, this is going to be our chest setup. Green for plants, red for weapons, blue for armor, purple for potions. And then, well, you know what? Leave some comments down below. What do you guys think? How, how should I color, color code the rest of our chests over here? And of course, there are more colors available. It's just that we only have a uh, yellow and orange right now that's left over. Because we, we, there's like violet, there's like lime green, there's like teal, there's like other colors, I think. So there's a lot that we could actually mess around with. Uh, we do have a first encounters. Uh, yeah, let's put this like right here. Sure. There we got like a flat. Oh, can I put that in my room too? I can just barely not. Ah, uh, whatever. All right, let's put this uh, like right here. Sure. Let's put that like right there with a little slime painting. <laughs> so there you go. And you know what? In the uh, the paint. Yeah, let's just name this one. Dies. Uh, can I do the and symbol? I can. Paint. There you go. Dies of paint. And you know what? We're going to put the paintbrush and the paint scraper over there as well. Let's go get the dyes that we have over here. What is that? Oh, it's a ladybug. Sheesh. Let's grab the... There you go. The dyes. Anything else over here that might be a dye? Nope. I don't think so. All right. Nice. <laughs> I love how I can chef. I'm just a I can chef. I'm just a lowly little chef. That's all I am. I'm just ready to make some I can dinner. And that's all I'm trying to do. But that's all that. I think we might have a black over here. Yeah, we have black ink. I used to make black dyes. So how do I do that, though? Is that a material? Yes, it is. So I guess I can just go talk to Kyle and he'll tell me how to make that black ink out of that, huh? Or black uh, dye out of that. So that would be... Yeah, I need the dye vat again. Man! Oh, whatever. I guess I'll just put that up over here. So there you go. All right, guys, back. Uh, I came over here to the painter or whatever to uh, to get... Oh, my God! It's like a paint gun or something like that that he shoots. Holy heck. I want to see that again. Do you want to do it again? Oh, oh! He... <laughs> Yeah, that's awesome. I love that. Anyways, yeah, I was over here buying like 16 of every type of color of uh, paint, just because why not? And then I got a notification at the bottom of the screen that Riley, the traveling trader, I should have checked this map because he was probably over there. Or, uh, ah, oh, man, I knew it. Man, I'm going to go back over there and then use their, uh, their pylon on for- oh, wait, what? <laughs> yeah, I, I still need to get a pylon over here. And you know what? I do want to go underground. And I do want to go... Like, because we have obsidian, or I, we have a meteor, whatever you want to call it now. We could probably mine obsidian now, and then we could probably use that obsidian for some stuff. So that's going to be really good. And then also, I want to go dig down even deeper and try and find some of that hexstone you guys have been talking about for the longest time. Anyways, we're over here now, so let's go to the pylon network. Let's go to the jungle pylon. There you go. Where is he at? Is he up here? Is he? Yep. Okay, there he is right there. Okay, so that's good. Let's see if I can talk to him. Let's buy the uh, thing. Kimono, ultra bright. Torch pink, eh, lawn flamingo, pff, hunter cloak, 
I'm like, I'd probably buy that if I had a lot more money. Like, I only have 24 gold now, so 5 gold is actually a pretty good amount of money there, so... Yeah... Why are these guys, like, not selling the, uh, the thing anymore? The... I forgot what it was called, but you guys know what I mean. The thing that I need to make, like, the PDA or whatever that I wanted to make. So that kind of sucks, but whatever. Let me just put up all the other uh, colors over here in the... Uh, which one was it? Oh, yeah, dyes and paint. Let's put that uh, all these up inside of here. That way, if we buy even more colors here in the future, we just easily quick stack them up right there. So that's going to be good. Speaking of quick stack, I finally got the cooked fish back in my inventory. So now we're going to have the minor improvement to all stats thing back. Keeps on quick stacking back to, uh, like, the animal's chest or something like that for some reason. So now we've got the fish back in our inventory, so that's good. Is this... Right here, is this the strange plant? It was! Oh my gosh, that was the strange plant you guys have been talking about for the longest time. Finally got it right there, golly. But that was like a red variant of that strange plant. Can be used for, uh, can be traded for rare dyes. So we can go back to the dye trader, I'm sure, to get more stuff out of that. Because I think we were able to trade strange plants with them a while ago, so that's going to be good. Yeah, we have two of those strange plants. We probably have more of them if I, uh, sort and then figure out what color the, I guess the strange plants are, uh, that, 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 and I guess we just have, like, what is that, eight strange plants for right now, so that's not too bad, I suppose. Anyways, I guess we can start digging down on the ground, you guys want to do that? Oh yeah, if we do that, we're going to need more, uh, platforms. Yeah, we spent, like, basically all of our platforms back there, unfortunately, so let's get the wood, see if we can make, uh, oh gosh. Yeah, that's a lot of stuff. Uh, there it is right there, wood platforms, that's just your standard wood platforms there. Make a bunch of them, 84, that's not too much, but, do I really need more? Eh, you know what, I'll cut down a few more trees. I think we'd use a few more platforms, so let's go do that real quick. Grab the acorns, replant the trees after cutting those down. So we could actually have, a you know, more wood in the future, of course, to make this area still look pretty extra pretty. Nice, a few more tall trees here for me to cut down, that's good. Yeah, isn't this axe, this, uh, crimson axe or whatever, isn't it, like, slightly worse than whatever axe we had beforehand or something? Or maybe I'm thinking about, like, the pickaxe or something, I don't know. Either way, we have a lot of wood in our inventory right now, so I don't think we really need to worry about, uh... Yeah, let's just go back to the mirror monster. Yeah, we've got, like, way better tools, weapons, armor, all that kind of stuff than what we had pretty much last time we went underground mining, you guys, so... And, yeah, we have the meteorite armor. Where'd I put the other armor? The, uh... Ah, oh, man, I don't remember. Which one would be better for underground? Probably the meteor... Or, uh, we have meteorite right now. Probably... Oh, yeah, armor chest. We have an armor chest now. Probably this, yeah, Crimson, because we'll get the extra regen. We do extra damage, too, so that's good and all. We're not going to really need to use the space gun or anything like that underground, right? So, switch back over to this, and, uh, oh yeah, I think I got a comment saying, yeah, okay, yeah, you just right-click it, and then it switches over there, so that's good. I don't have to manually do it, so, speaking of such, let's just make those automatically go into there, that's good. And let's see if we can make a bunch of platforms right now, so let's just do this. And hopefully this is going to be, oh, man, yep, that's a ton of platforms, 270. And of course, I could just turn that back into, uh, what do you call it? I don't know. Was it an ant? No, there was just a bunch of ladybugs. Holy heck, there's like three, four, f I got five ladybugs right there. Holy, there's another one. Man, there's so many ladybugs. I could probably use those for, uh, fishing, right? Yeah, 17% uh, bait powder, right? Power right there. Not too bad. Oh, you know what we should do? Let's, uh, stone blocks. Yeah, sure, that's fine. Uh, anything else here? Maybe I could cut down, like, one more tree or something like that. But, uh, yeah, th this will be fine, I suppose. We have we have a lot of saplings right here. They'll, they'll grow here in just a bit. But I do want to, while we're going to go underground, I guess what we could do is make the Zahn's base and the, oh, what was his name? Oten? I forgot what his, like, professional name was. Uh, you guys know what he means. The guy that sells the bombs. But we can go underground, make a base for them. And I think one more of them, right? Yeah, the, uh... The clothier, I think he likes being underground as well. We can make, like, basically three rooms down there for those guys. And hopefully at least one of them will give me, probably Oten will uh, give me the uh, totem to teleport down underground. That's going to be really good. Like, we won't even have to come over here to the Hecavator anymore. That's going to save us a ton of time if we could do that. But for right now, let's keep riding the Hecavator down manually, I guess you'd call this. <laughs> and uh, hopefully we're going to get down to basically lava level pretty fucking fast. Let's see. And here we are in the mushroom biome, which, uh, oh man, there are a lot of mushrooms down here. Let's grab all these. Yeah, there you go. Grab all those glowing mushrooms. Yeah, I guess they just naturally grow down here, because I do remember these were, uh, like I picked all these before. Oh yeah, I guess I can just get them with a sword, huh? Yeah, look at that. I've got a ton of these mushrooms here, you guys. Awesome. Nice. Let's see if we can get all these down here, too. Uh, oh man, I am. Holy oak. There you go. Just get all those bad boys. Yeah, I can save a ton of time. 
Yeah, we don't have the, uh, the night vision goggles on right now. We can get them by, uh, because I might as well switch right now, you know? Uh, oh yeah, if we don't have a full set, we don't have a increased life regen. I guess, like, I don't know. I'm like, if I'm going to go exploring underground, it makes sense to have the night vision goggles or whatever those things were called, I forget. We have to place down the pig. Oh God, what in the, a Shelly just randomly comes right straight towards me like I can magnet or something crazy. And a cave bat, man, these things are annoying as heck. Yeah, I get, oh yeah, ultra bright helmet. I guess we can put that on. So boom, there you go. Let's put that uh, there. And uh, oh yeah, there are keys down there too. So that's good. We still have those. Let's get our piggy bank back. Let's get a workbench back. Let's put those back over here. There you go. And I suppose, yeah, look at that. It lights it up a little bit around us, which is good. Armor rating went down, what, two points right there? So that's not too bad. Of course, we don't have the uh, full matching set of, was it, not meteorite, but uh, crimson armor. So we don't have the extra regen, unfortunately. But like right here, should I build their base here? Like, where is this in the grand scheme of the, uh, or should I build their base like here, basically? Like right next to the heckin' lava, basically. Hmm, I don't know. I'm like right here, the mushroom biome is actually relatively safe. And if I just teleport here, I could easily go down this and go straight to lava level, right? Maybe I want to go back, to, you know what, let's go down even deeper, because look at this. Look at all that right there. Like, I could probably, like, look at all this room right here. If I, if I build their base like here, like, who knows what's over there? That'll probably save us a ton of time, guys, so. Let's keep exploring this over here. This is going to be a good idea. Uh, let's check our guns and stuff real quick. So we have the Mystic Space Gun. Don't need that. Deadly Magic Missile. I love that. I want to move this to there. That's going to be fine there. All right, that's good. All right, let's keep going down now. Oh, yeah, where's the... Uh, you know what? Yeah, we definitely need to have... Yeah, we've got platforms there. Yeah, I guess I'll put stone there. That's going to be fine. I don't think I'm going to use that gun too often. The, uh... Oh god, oh man, yeah, spider webs, they respawned back over here, sheesh, or cobwebs, whatever you want to call them. Yeah, I guess I have to watch out for that over time, but, uh, yeah, even more of them over here, sheesh. Thankfully, it's lighting up around here, so that's good, but, uh, where was it that goes down? There's some clay pots and stuff down here. Well, it looks like, I don't know if that's copper or what, what's this? Oh yeah, it's one of those things that, like, dropped worms, forgot about that. But yeah, down here some clay pots, I guess we can go grab them real quick. Uh, some rope, some silver. And uh, one of those worms, yeah, he just passed right there. We might be able to one-shot him right now. I, I think we might have been able to one-shot him beforehand, maybe? Did he just die right there? I still hear him. Yeah, there he is right there. Yeah, he's, he's really low down there. Sheesh. Something's on fire over there. Wall creeper, yeah, spider's on fire over there. <laughs> All right, well, let's use some of these uh cobblestones to see if we can... Oh, yeah, we can't do that with lava. Yeah, I forgot about that. Whoops. All right, well, uh, mm, where am I going to go here to go down? Uh, I don't know, because there's lava in the way there. I guess I have to go here then, huh? I guess I'll just dig through all this. Just dig straight through all this. So let's uh, turn on smart cursor. There you go, just Oh, God. Hey, I killed him with my pickaxe completely inadvertently right there. That was kind of crazy. <laughs> Place down some torches as well, just so I know that, uh... Let's see. Here we go. Just so I know that this is where I'm going down. So this is going to be good. Is that silt? No, that's mud. All right. Oh, silt, that would have been really good. Let's keep zooming out. See, okay. Man, if I went down there, I would have been dead. Jeez. Gold over there, I think. Another wall creep right there. Uh, I kind of want to look at the big map. What is going on over there? Silver coins? Something's dying over there. Can I go over there? kind of want to go over there. Blink root. I guess I could try and go over there, you guys. Let's see. So let's uh, hook ourselves out of here. So there you go. Got to float ourselves this away. I guess. Oh, yeah, yeah. We went like up top or something like that, right? I think that's what we did. And we could float. Oh! There you go, hook shot. Go over here. There you go. And now, we can go down here. Oh! Hold on. Can we go through lava? I don't know. Man, this is risky. How do I get over there without dying, right? I don't know! I guess I can go up here, hold on, and then float, and then, there you go. Land about right there. That's going to be good. All right. Let's, let's go through this now. We still have smart cursor enabled, so yeah, that's, that's going to be fine. Let's just go this way to the right a little bit. Go down. And maybe this is going to take us down. Because I don't I don't want to mess with that again lava there, you guys. Until we get whatever armor it is that, like, has lava resistance. Might be, like, uh, obsidian armor. Might be hexstone armor. I forget. Slash don't remember. Slash I don't know, even know if I ever read any comments about that, y'all. But let's just uh, keep our eyes peeled here for anything suspicious that might be sticking out that might... What is that? Yeah, that's just a... Yeah, these, these are just things. Looks like emeralds down there. There's just uh, coins down there from creepers. 
getting like burnt and killed down there. So I guess we can make some platforms here. So how about we do that, huh? Let's do it here. Yeah, that's going to be good. That's going to be fine. Oh, uh, another mushroom biome here, I guess. That's funny. Okay, Riley, the uh, traveling trader has departed. Okay, not that big of a deal. I don't really care about that, to be quite honest. <laughs> Let's keep going this way, though. So we can actually see what's over here. Because we have another, what seems like another mushroom biome, so that's fun. Let's place down some more of these platforms and continue over here. Now we got another Shelly over here, unfortunately. Oh my god, that thing's flying. That thing better not- Oh, we got creatures coming over here. I'm going to kill them. There you go. Wait, hold on. Is that something else? Is that diamond? Hold on. Can I... Mine here, say, is- oh, Hold on. Let's undo that. Now, if I mine that, is that going to get- I'm, I'm going to try and do this. <gasps> it is diamond! Holy, I was like, is that- Is that diamond? Is that sapphire? I don't- I don't know which one it would have been. But I need to be very careful because there's a lava, like, right there. Like, both right there and right there. So, uh, let's mine this specifically just these diamonds. There you go. And you know what? Let's see. Can I place a... I can't place a platform there, unfortunately. I can't... Oh, wait. I can do the platform trick with the diamonds, though. I can't do it there, unfortunately. All right, let's do that. Oh! Holy heck, I got out of there. Wait, what in the world? Oh, those were bats right there that were attacking me. What in the world? And there you go. Got them. All right, well, that, that was pretty smart of me to get rid of the, uh, the lava... Or the, uh... The, wait, what? Oh, God, you can't really see these bats too easily. And we got another heckin' Shelly there, too. There we go. We got him. That's good. I remember our regen isn't as good as it would be if we had a full set of matching armor. Right? Wait, what is that down there? You can see that? There's like a swiftness potion. Where did that come from? Something just dropped that randomly. Oh yeah, here we go. Here's the other, uh, here's that mushroom biome that we were, uh, we saw the background change to. There's a decent amount of gold there, which is good, but like we're not really working with gold nowadays. We, I'm like, we've got diamonds right now, which is crazy. It's not like we're going to go to dig another or anything like that, right? Do I want to go get that swiftness potion? I kind of want to head downwards a little bit. I don't know if I can do that right here, though. Oh, we got a crab guy or whatever. Let's get him. Got him. <laughs> yeah, I keep I keep forgetting about this thing. At, at least underground while mining. I need, I need to not forget about really powerful weapons like this. Now, what is that? Is that silver? I don't know what that is, but there, that's a lot of silver right there. I know that. Oh, man, we have uh, skeletons and, and other stuff over here. Let's kill them. There you go. wonder if there's anything else above us. kind of want to just go down. There you go. Kill that bat. Man, I don't know how to block that off. I don't think I can, though, right? Where's that go? Okay, I, I might be able to just avoid it by just going over here. And then going down. Oh, I've got a mine. But th this should be pretty self-explanatory once I mine these out of the way. So there you go. Just to make sure I do not... Oh! Land in the lava. That's good. A lot of clay pots down there. Let me go grab them as we get hit by a heckin' bat. Oh, nice! A mushroom guy down there. Or, uh, a shelly guy that we can go kill down there. As well as a giant mushroom. And a, uh, heart container. And a lot of silt right there, too. And silt right here, too. Ooh. Do I have inventory space? I can't get the heart container. I did get- or life, uh, crystal. You guys know what I mean. <laughs> but, uh, I did get a comment saying, hey. And, of course, remember, we're at 400 health, which I think is the pre-hard mode limit. So, I'm just gonna- I'm not gonna consume that. But, you guys did say, hey, if you have extra heart containers or, you know, life canisters or whatever that technical name is, you guys know what I mean. Saying that I could actually make something out of it, so I need to go back and, and reread that comment, see what that actually was, that thing that you guys referenced. So I could actually make it, because I actually have one now, so that's good. So, let's see, how deep are we right now? We're at, uh, 1997 caverns? I don't know how deep I need to go to actually find, uh, Hexstone. Just, you know, make sure I don't get demonetized, right? <laughs> But, uh, let's, let's keep going over here, because it seems like the, uh, the mushroom biome is kind of like, like it goes up from here, you know? Like, here's just, oh, god, whoa, hold on, what is that? Hold on, is that the crimson underground? Is that, like, where the crimson is? But, like, you know, lava layer? I feel like it might be, or something. I don't know. I don't want to dig over there, though, that's kind of crazy looking. Hold on. Where are we on the map? So there's that. Now, this is basically, like, going to be, like, under our house, basically. Huh. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know, because crimson... Unless there's, like, a random bit of crimson over here. I don't know. Either way, let's, uh, zoom in. And let's mine over here, shall we? Let's just go over to here, and let's go see what this weird... It might be another biome in and of itself. Either that, or it's, like, the Hexstone or something. I doubt that. But, uh, there we go. So, what is all this stuff? Lesser healing potions and stuff, okay. Yeah, I'm, like, cutting the grass with my, uh, my Miramasa. Hmm. Like, mine is just regular stone. Huh. Okay, well, we got some bats. We might as well take care of them. There you go. What else is around here? Okay, let's go to the big, big map this way. Okay, so if I wanted to go down, I can go down over here back in the mushroom area. 
emeralds, blink root, blink root, blink root, dripping lava. I don't know if I want to go here. <laughs> look at how stupid I look with the chef's hat. And a lot of gold there, that's nice. I'll probably end up going back over here with the, uh, the giant mushroom stems or whatever that would be. That's probably going to be the easiest way to go down. So let's, let's see if we can go back over to there. Forgot about the gold, at least for right now. We'll worry about the gold in the future if we ever need it. You know, we already progressed past gold, so we don't really need it right now. But uh, right now, we basically have to mine through this gold right here, which is going to be... Actually, that might be iron or something. Iron or silver, I can't tell right now. Yeah, it's iron. Yeah. But yeah, like right here, it looks like we can go down a little bit more, so that's going to be good, but... I don't know where it would be a good... I, I, I guess just being underground in general. Uh, oh, is this it? I think this is. Look at the background there. That is definitely... We are in Hexstone territory, I'm sure. There, you guys. Holy heck. Now, we might want to build their base here. Like, not specifically here, but, you know, at this level. Oh, wait, hold on. What is that? Oh, it's just silver. Amethyst? Yep, amethyst. Blink root. But yeah, look at, look at how much closer we are to the ground now compared to up there, right? So that, that, this will save us a ton of time if we build their base down here, right? Now, uh, let's be very careful. What is that thing? That's a skeleton? Yep, that's a skeleton. I'm going to keep my eyes peeled for any, like, new stones that might be hexstone. Because I don't know what it looks like right now. Bat there you go. Oh, I need to go back to that uh, granite biome, by the way, you guys. I'm sure if I go back there, uh, I'll get a lot of money. Let's go over here. There you go. Just float around. Cause there may be, it may just, yep, yep, goes straight down to lava. And I do not want it, there's a lot of silt there, nice. Lot of silt. Looks like, uh, silver there, I'm gonna forget about that. Silver and copper, not bad. Now where can I go that will go down? Over here? Looks like, yeah, looks like I'm gonna have to dig through, pfft. Uh, looks like I'm gonna have to dig through all this silt here, you guys. Oopsie doopsie, I guess I'm gonna have to grab all the silt and kill that bat with my pickaxe. I'm like, my pickaxe is pretty decent at killing stuff, so. Uh, two birds with one, two, one bat with one pick? I don't know. Cut that out of it, that was terrible. I don't know, let's just dig through all this silt and stone and stuff. And, uh, this will take us to the other side. We are not able to get the silt, I don't think, right? Yeah, let's, uh, trash that. There you go, now we're getting the silt, so that's good. So, uh, might want to get rid of some of the, uh, some of the cobblestone we have, too. Because we have, a, a lot. Oh, whoa! Oh, those are torches, okay. Nothing crazy. With arrows and stuff. Yeah, we got 11 diamonds right now, which is good. We got some regular bombs, some more stones. I guess I'll trash that, because we already have a 999 in the, in the hot bar right there. Oh, man, I'm getting killed by something. Oh, thankfully I wasn't able to fit through that right there. Sheesh. I don't think I would have died, but still, that would have been very dangerous. Hold on, we got the bat coming back. There we go, got him. Right, let's go down here. Oh, almost landed a lava right there. That's a big thing. Look at that big thing of amethyst up there, you guys. Man, that's crazy. Let's go down here. There you go. Yeah, we're really deep right now, you guys. 2268. Oh, whoa, what is this? Even more? Wait, hold on. Is that all silt? Or hold on, what is that? That's not silt, is it? Is this the hexstone? What is this? Uh, stone blocks. Get rid of that. Ash block. Ooh. I'm like, there's so much of it, I don't think I really want to mine it, right? Like, I feel like it's just going to be a waste, so I'm not going to mine this, but I think over there, some silt. Definitely don't want to be confusing this with silt. Because, of course, silt is way better than this ash garbage, right? Sheesh. Oh, God! It's getting hot in here! Oh, God, what is that? Voodoo de- wait, what? Or voodoo demon? Voodoo demons, oh, God! We found it, you guys. Hot bat? Heck bat. We found it! We found it, you guys. Oh my gosh.